Hi, I am Ahtar Nadur in Asrabadi and this paper, highly sensitive and selective gadolinium oxide to obtain oxide ethanol sensor synthesized by a high temperature and pressure solvo thermal method in a micro reactor is joint work with Yadullah Mortazavi and Abbas Ali Khodadadi. Semiconductor metal oxides are particularly interesting for application as gas sensors. The underlying principle of gas sensing is the chemical interaction of the gas species with the surface of the sensing material. For example, in the case of thin oxide sensors, the chemistry occurring on the surface involves two main reactions. First, chemisorption of oxygen. Second, removal of oxygen by reducing gas such as ethanol. The removal of oxygen from the surface results in changes of the electronic conductivity of the surface of material. Hence, a large surface to volume ratio is naturally a prerequisite for high sensitivity of the sensors. One of the main drawbacks associated with tin oxide sensor is its unsatisfied selectivity. Doping tin oxide with rare metal oxides can make tin oxide sensor selective to a particular gas. Here you can see the micro reactor setup that we use for synthesis of nanoparticles. The phase solution contains urea, tin chloride, and deionized water in ethylene glycol medium. The solution has only 5 seconds resistance time in the capillary tube immersed in the molten salt bath. Therefore, the composition of urea, nucleation, and growth of nanoparticles happen rapidly in microreactor, which results in synthesis of small nanoparticles with neuroside distributions. We separate the highly dispersed nanoparticles by, uh, by applying vacuum evaporation and centrifuge. After washing nanoparticles for several times, we dry samples and calcine them in air. Here you can see the experimental setup which we use for measuring the sensor responses to various gases at different temperatures. We place the sensor in a quartz glass chamber located in an electric furnace equipped with a PID temperature controller. A flow system consisting of three mass flow controllers was applied for introducing target gases with a specified concentration and humidity in air into the sensor chamber. Here you can see the XRD and TM results of pure and gadolinium oxide to tin oxide nanoparticles. By addition of gadolinium oxide to tin oxide, the main XRD peaks broaden. In addition, the average crystallized sizes of nanoparticles decrease. This indicates that the presence of GD ions in tin oxide inhibited the growth of its crystallites. Since the ionic radius of GD is much larger than that of Sn, all added GD ions may not fit within the tin oxide crystal lattice due to its excessive distortion. As you can see the high resolution TM result, gadolinium oxide in excess of its solubility can place between tin oxide grains and prevent the growth of tin oxide crystallites. This trend continues until the dopant fill all of the grain boundaries. In this condition, as the dopant concentration increases, the dopant-dopant interaction becomes important and results in precipitation of dopant nanoparticles. If dopant nanoparticles form precipitate rather than remain in the grain boundary, grain growth will occur. This is in agreement with the sample's BET results which we have mentioned in the paper. As you can see, addition of 10 vaporson gadolinium oxide to tin oxide results in increasing the sensitivity and selectivity of the sensor at a low temperature of 150 degrees centigrade. Doping gadolinium oxide to tin oxide probably causes some changes in the defect chemistry, which results in high surface activity and a strong interaction between ethanol and surface active sites. Based on high resolution TEM result, the gadolinium oxide in excess of its solubility limit forms crystallites between tin oxide grains, which are sites for redox reactions. The reason of increasing the selectivity toward ethanol is that the sensor re releases more electron upon exposure to ethanol rather than carbon monoxide or methane. Therefore, the sensor shows high responses toward ethanol. Thank you for listening.